All right, welcome back to the war room. I've been dying to get into these and open them up since Christmas time, and I've just been so busy I haven't had a chance. So this is just a little unboxing and a review of the components, and uh, I don't know which one to start with. I'm so excited, but I think I'll start with Austerlitz A for Austerlitz. So we'll begin with that one. Well, let's rip into this and see what we got. Uh, some of them they tell me don't come with shrink wrap. Well, mine came with shrink wrap, so I don't know what difference that makes, but I guess I like shrink wrap because it makes sure everything's in there, I guess. Uh, very nice box art. I like the cover a lot, as I do on all of their games so far. And we've got the French flag on one side and the Russian flag on the other side and interestingly it looks like the Russian flag is upside down unless the crown was meant to be on the bottom and the eagle is standing on his head I wonder if anybody else got that misprint or if that was just on mine but anyway on the back of the box we have a nice picture of the map inside and the counters. It says complexity 4 or 5, solitaire suitability 7. Units, regiments, map 250 meters to the hex, turns 1 hour. Oh, and this was actually, let's see, printed in 2016. Uh, but it looks good on the outside. Let's see what we got on the inside. I think that's funny, they got the Russian flag upside down. I wonder if anybody else noticed. <laughs> Put that to one side. And so we've got the rules book, which is nice glossy paper, full color, just like, looks like this is the standard rule book, same as in Quattro Bra. Uh, when was this? Yeah, 2016 version. Uh, the Quattro Bra version, I believe, is a little bit newer, but um, it looks roughly the same. And then we have the Rising Eagles Battle Battle Book. Uh, again, a lot of nice artwork on their stuff. And just a quick look through all of the. Oh, nice map. I love maps of the. Uh, Looks like an original battle map. And the cards, which I don't use. don't really like cards in a game, but that's just me. Personal preference or idiosyncrasy. So, nice battle book. And then, wow, got a ton of cards. We've got unit identification card. Whoops, sorry about that. Just kicked the tripod. Unit identification chart on one side, terrain effects chart on the other side. Pretty standard. Yeah, melee attack. These look like the same tables from Quattro Bra. Fire table on one side, melee table on the other. Uh, the little mini maps. Very nice, very nice artwork. This is a little more washed out. And it looks like the water is frozen over ice, which is nice considering, yeah, this was a winter battle, wasn't it? Uh, Austerlitz 1805, and my history isn't that good to say, but uh, what the date was off the top of my head, but apparently it was a winter battle. And, Oh, a mini map for the setup. But, yeah, that must be ice. Order of battle. I really love these. These make it so easy to set up a game once you get these all um, laid out and the, the counters all in place. So, different scenarios on different sides of these. The French. On this one, French, 
and the coalition which looks like well must be Austrians and Russians there yeah more Austrians and Russians I would guess by the color commander-in-chief Alexander and then uh, a different scenario more Austrians and Russians yeah I love their setup cards and their artwork is great too on uh, all of this stuff December 2nd 1805 yeah it says it right there if I'd been paying attention it tells you right there the battle was in the winter and again more of their they are great high quality counters. Just take a quick look at these. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Oh, they punch out nice and easy. I like that feature too. They're easy and quick to punch out. And I like the fact that they're rounded except it denies me the, the thrill of cutting, clipping all the corners and it does leave a little tab on the sides which I talked about earlier though. although I cut it out I trim them out with an exacto knife and that makes it a little less noticeable but I wish if they were going to cut them out rounded like this which I think is great by the way I just I wish they would punch them out all the way through so that little tab those little furry tabs aren't left on the side but very nice four sheets of counters uh, beautifully printed, nicely centered. In the back, the back's the same thing, nicely centered. Good detail. Uh, excellent counters, excellent counters. And then, of course, the most important part, the map. Which, yeah, is kind of done in a faded out uh, of the colors and definitely ice on the uh, on the rivers and lakes so that'll be interesting but nice map very good uh, choice of colors to show the uh, wintertime effect and the uh, different elevations that came out good so that's a uh, I think that's the first map and here's the second map so this is a big game which of course it was a fairly big battle so it requires two maps and this one yeah just as nice as the other one I'll have to put it together and lay it out and take a look set it up and see what it looks like uh, very very Good quality, thick map, um, has a nice uh, shiny paper, and it looks like the, uh, you do get a little bit of the white lines in, uh, I imagine, over time along the creases that some people I've heard them talk about that they don't like. But uh, overall, excellent, outstanding. I wonder where they had it printed. Oh, and the two. Yep, two red dice and all your different cards. They all fell out of the fell out of their uh, where they're printed on whatever this stuff is. Kind of a light plasticky substance, so I imagine they'll be very durable. So you've got the uh, the sort of extra uh, features. What are they? Yeah, the last push, time to reload. Friendly fire and various things that, you know, if you want to, you can throw them in there. Rally, barrage, make different things happen. Um, snow of Austerlitz, where is Davu? Hmm, Napoleon's plan. So, a bunch of different things. I don't know, maybe someday I'll break down and try them. Just out of curiosity and see how it plays in the game. But that's about it. For this one, um, excellent game. Really like them. Really like their everything about them. Really, there's uh, not too much I can say negative. 
So that's it for this little quick review unboxing of Austerlitz by Hexasim uh, Eagles of France series and this one is called Rising Eagles The Battle of Austerlitz December 2nd 1805 all right, thanks again for watching. Take care, and remember, no fighting in the war room.